Okay, we're getting better at this. No, I'm live. I know. Good. Where did my OBS had a viewers thing? Ooh. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't need this. <laughs> ah, hello again, world. How we doing? Um, I forgot that I can view stats. Nope. Uh, There he is, Twitch stats. Here's the most disappointing thing I have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, enough crying. So we're playing Quickie World. Haven't done a Kaizo ROM hack in a few months. Watched a lot of them. Uh, still want to beat Invictus by the end of the year, but we gotta keep our skills sharp. Kuku World's meant to be like a a warm up for Kaizo players, so of course I'm gonna take the next hour and a half bumbling through like three levels of it. The snack is the Reese's peanut butter bar. They're okay. They're out of Kit big Kit Kats, and I uh, when I went to the movies with the kids last week. I bought a big Kit Kat, and then I left it at my mom's house by accident, which means that I'll never see it again, because she probably opened her fridge and was like, and that was it. That was the end. That was the end. <clears throat> I do want the world to know we are moving on. To the Galaxy S22. I haven't peeled it yet, but uh, it's happened. So I officially, officially moved on to a stable software on a good phone. Kayla has the, S, the Galaxy S21e. S21e? There's there's 21 plus an ultra and then did they do the FE? Yes, the FE. Oh, okay. That's what I said. You said E. Nope. Sheesh. Okay. So, we're playing Mario today and uh, we're bringing this guy back. This is the official Nintendo uh, you know, SNES remake controller. We're going to pair this up to the computer, do our thing. Uh, the Bluetooth connectors right here on the top of my computer, uh, so it should be okay, but I've had slight input issues in the past. Krispy Kreme stopped my grandparents and my grandmother's like, you shouldn't get those, honey. <laughs> you shouldn't get those, honey. They're terrible for you. <laughs> and that's when Grandma says, I'm here for a good time, not for a long time. And you're like, Grandma, no. <laughs> Please don't say that. I forgot to get a beverage. I do have water. This is full. Nice and full. Mm. I don't have any uh, other thing. I was at Walmart today. And occasionally I can find the frostbite due at Walmart. But this Walmart did not have it. Um, had melon. They had melon. Major Melon. That is right. And you said, I don't want to get mine. I have some. I wanted the frostbite. So, um, we can go to this screen. We were playing Ryu World, which we'll get back to. I'll probably start it over. Um, uh, 
<laughs> we'll do this as far as we can get run. Uh, we're going to play Quickie World. I don't even know how many exits there are in Quickie World. You got SMW Central. So, okay. Took me to a Google search. That was really weird. Okay, so it's by Valdio. That's right. And it's got 14 exits, just like uh, Rio World does. So cool. Um, I think SNES has a windowed view here. So we're just going to go straight to that. I don't put inputs here, which is fine. Um, I got to pair this to my computer, though. So I got to do that right now. And then we'll make sure the input settings work, which would be really cool if they did. Uh, it would be fantastic. We need to remove this. Oh, the Pro Controller says it's paired, but I know it is not because I just used it last night on Batwa. Glute. Uh, yeah, Yeah, my daughter's playing Danganronpa, which is obviously a little mature for her, but... Alright, so we played on SNES 9X, which I have on my computer, but it's not showing here. Okay. Uh, okay, you don't want to... Programs... I've gotten to a point where, and maybe this is just me, but I when I search for something on my computer, like I don't have like programs or like icons anywhere. I just literally like hit the window button and type what I want. And SNES 9X always seems to do this, where it's like elusive to me. Okay, nope, it's not here in downloads. So I guess we'll just go to this PC and search SNES 9X, find the application, whatever folder it's living in. Oh wait, do I have it on my taskbar? I do not. Oh, found it. Did I though? Uh oh. This PC, yeah, I have a SNES 9X folder. It's embarrassing. I don't even know where I put my emulator. <laughs> Oops. It's got to be. I thought it was in my downloads folder. Asinius, Romps. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. There's Invictus, Grand Pool World. Here they all are. Um, there's Quickie World 2. Do I have Quickie World 1? I must have Quickie World one. It's in my Google Drive. I know that. Romix. Dad, you World one, Mario World, Quickie World. There it is. Download. And this is when I download it, and it's okay. Good. It'll say like the file name and in parentheses like three, and I'll be like, I literally had two, three of these already. <laughs> the heck i can't imagine that i got rid of snes 9x i feel like it's just in a folder that i have somewhere and it, like the search doesn't immediately pick it up i mean i could just go get it that's not a real issue snes 9x i can just re-download it. it takes two seconds uh News developer downloads. Here it is. Um, here's a list of all known available mirrors. So we're just gonna go to this Google site. Never mind. <laughs> okay, they're on one dot six. So there it is. Okay, so we're gonna close and we're gonna drag and drop this exe into my downloads folder. Boom gonna open that up there it is so now we have it okay but the, the, 
that's only one of the problems. We're going to go to video window size 4x because that's big enough. We're going to load game. Quickie world. And then we're going to go to this right here. Hit OK. <laughs> Let me change my audio here. It's coming through my speakers instead of my ears. Oh, it's one of those programs, is it? Uh, default. We're going to go to speakers. Oh, that is loud. I'm going to turn that down a little. I'm going to turn that down a little. <laughs> It's loud to me. I don't know how loud it is to you. This this is good for me, but I can turn this up. All right, so we need our inputs. Uh, yeah, I'll just do it. It was perfect. Oh, okay, so let me turn it up. I'll just adjust here. Is that better? Just go to like here. How about there? That's good. I hope so. Input configuration. All right, so up, left, left, down, right. B, A, Y, X. Start, select, L, R, up left. Yeah, let's just keep those disabled. Okay, controller's working. Okay. Go fast, don't hesitate, and it'll be all right. Thanks, Baldio. Hey, we're doing this. We're playing Mario. How cool is that? We're going to edit Enable background. Oh wait, we're gonna never mind. There we go. Perfect. I wanna be able to keep the thing going while I'm updating the stream with exits, so Oh Okay. We're back officially. <laughs> See how I feel about this after an hour. I know, right? Some shades on the red plaid pug. It's good. Boom. See, it's, see that's a re-grab, and then that's a re-grab. So it's like a couple re-grabs to just get things. So you like, let go. Re-grab. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Believe it or not, like, re-grabs are really hard. for normal Kaizo players. There we go. Okay. We don't want to... I didn't grab a soda. We gotta decide on a flavor. You're not allowed. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Oops. I didn't follow the directions to go fast. Dr. Pepper Dark Berry? I don't have any of that. Yeah, but there is a zero variant of it, but the Stop and Shop locally doesn't have it. That's the only spot I've ever seen it. Okay. Well, there you have it. We're halfway through the first level. Woo! Oh, no. I remember you have to carry this little guy. And this level ends with a, a re-grab jump with him. It's my little Goomba here. Oh, it's his... Oh, it's 
spin jump. Mountain Dew Purple Thunder. It's not even a thing. That's not even a thing. Alright. Pop. Boom. Boom. Kick. Kick that guy up. Oh my god. <laughs> Circle K exclusive? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't live down in the south where them Circle Ks are a big deal. <laughs> These jumps are more stressful. Ah! I'm like, barely. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Five. I remember this level. This level has this ridiculous ending. Has an ending where you like start lower and then go higher. You need to use one of those missiles, I think. Oh god. Okay. Oh yeah, and the timing on this jump is... Am I really supposed to use... I'm trying to remember, because you... I think you do. Yeah. Ah, uh, I messed it up. You need to keep one of them alive, because you use it right there, and then that's the midway. But I need peace. Okay, my, my input just died on me there. I can like hardwire the connection, and I might, if like that happens a lot. Oof. Okay. Yeah, there's really two jumps I don't like in this level, and this this one right here is the first one. Okay, well, that went surprisingly smooth. Oh, midway! This is okay. I went way too fast. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep your. You have to. Oh, this is a spin jump. You gotta keep. I was actually perfect. I don't have P speed! Say no good. Ugh! Got the spin jump. I was a little behind it too. This is good. That was too fast. So I wasn't kidding when I said I don't like this jump. <laughs> Too exact. Okay. No P speed. There we go. We got it. Recovery. There we go. That's not a spot you're supposed to die. <laughs> Little head. Barely. So let's see. The flavors. Top shelf, I've got the, the Pepsi Zero, I've got the Wild Cherry Pepsi Zero, 
I got the Cherry Vanilla Zero Coke. I've got D-Pep Original and Cream. Oh my god! We're gonna need a... We're gonna need a hardwire this. That was... That should not have happened. I do have a free USB port up there too, so... Something cherry, okay. I can't do the D-Pep cherry. There's only one left. We have to save that for like a momentous occasion. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna open that last D-Pep cherry when I get a new job. Look at this, my input. Mm. I didn't like that. I did not like that, how that felt. When I get my new job, crack it. I'm gonna need a Type-C though. The Bluetooth is definitely scaring me. I forgot the levels are named after people. Oh, it's a Z-Jump! I like this level a lot. There's one jump at the end that's a little scary. Cyclone? Which one is Cyclone? Oh, I just probably keep going. I keep trying to like... Like I bloop! And then just... Which color is Cyclone? I don't know how you can like... There's a Mountain Dew for each color of the rainbow. Z-Jump! It's way better to spin jump there. Silly me. Got the... Midway! Midway! Yeah, see, like, this part's not a big deal to me. This, that, right there. That's the jump that gets me. You like, you gotta like, like up. And if you, if you like mess up your momentum, you won't make it. Oops. Who knew like people don't recognize just how like exclusive a flavor Mountain Dew is. I almost had it. I re-grabbed a little too short. That really upsets me. That's it. That oh my god, I went too fast! No! <laughs> I hear you, sir. to bring down the game audio smidge. Glitch Cat Lake. I like that level. I've always liked that level. Oh, I remember this one. This is the vertical one. Hold on. got to work through these. They're not my favorite. Got to make room for more of the good stuff. All right. This is the level with all the down the down stuff. 
So, yep. Oh, okay. I have tags. Hold on, on Discord. Employee chat. <laughs> This guy said, God, I wish I had... Oh, it's Brett. <laughs> Brett wishes they had the wing. Unironically. Brett. I know you're not watching. But that one was for you. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go to big cam. I want you to clip this, J-Man. Listen, Brett Willis. This one's for you. G wing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Dude, man's like, you got me working. <laughs> oh god, this gets like real tight. Oh no. Oh yeah, okay. We got a shell jump. Oh! God, I released way too late. This is the perfect song to put in this this level, by the way. Ugh. We're right near the midway, too. If we get past the shell jump, it's pretty much... Oh, well, the midway... Let me rephrase that. The midway is, I think, through, like, a one square wide, like, little death trap. I release it's way too late. I'm out of practice on these shell jumps. It is a little different, too, that we're doing a shell jump off of a note block. Which is kind of a pain in the tuchus. So I'm sure to a lot of people it's easier. Oh, God. Oh, saved it. Right, see, that was way too early. And it also doesn't help that I'm a little too far away. I like to be like one more square over. Oh, yeah, that's that's trouble. There's a part later with red Koopas that's really cool. Ooh. doing get the glitch on this I think we're better off just restarting when that happens This is why we play Quickie World, because it teaches us how to do the stuff again. Oh, that was close. That was actually pretty close. That was too slightly early. Slightly early. Oh no! <laughs> there it is. That one's for you, Brett. Brett actually hits the stream once every blue moon, so. Maybe they'll. There we go. Yeah, see, this turns into a one pixel wide. Oh. Ah! I knew it! <laughs> I 
That midway is... That midway is devious. Okay. The bright side... Oh, we got it! Flair. I think I just quoted Grand Pooh Grand Pooh Bear's GTA character, Mick Flair. <laughs> Cause I watched a lot of that. That was a really incredible series. Note to self. Throw it on the coin. Oh man, this is the end. Got it. Cool. Link dead shed. I like this level too. Oops. This has one jump in it that's kind of scary. And it involves those guys. <laughs> we'll get there. That gets scary because you have to move forward to spawn them in the right locations. And what's also difficult is that Koopa, that Paracoopa re-grab jump is actually pretty, pretty stupid. And I hit it the first try. And I was really excited that I did that just now. Don't even care. Hit the midway. Hit the midway. We also need to, like, spawn this guy again or something. I forget. Like, we need to go back or something. And, like, respawn a guy or... Yeah, see, like, that arrow points that way. Because you have to respawn one of the... One of the dudes. And you take this, you take this, hit the block. Yeah. Jeez. No, so you hit this, you hit this block, and boom, you go up, and then one of those things is coming with you when you do that, so. You gotta like, yeah, see, he, he, there he is. There he is. Okay, got him. Oh, he might be too slow. We'll find out. Oh, we got it. Cool. I think we still got it. We're not. We're not great, but we're good. <laughs> cool. Tower power, this is like a speed run level, isn't it? Yep. This level I remember being particularly fun. <laughs> I think the first time I beat this level, I was on my phone, I was in Virginia. You know, I could just Z-jump on that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oops. Oh, I still was. That's funny. I still had the uh, P thing, the cloud of it in my hands. Okay. Oh. In Destin on vacay. What up, Steven? You're on vacay. How many exits do we have right now? Four? Wait. One, two, three, four, five. We got five exits already. Okay. Appreciate you stopping by, my man. That's really annoying. That you can, like, grab the P-switch. And then, like, if you have something in your hands, you can't spin jump. You'll only regular jump. So you have to, like, step on it without grabbing it. I was wondering why I haven't seen Steven in the Breath of the Wild streams the last couple days. Well, I did, for one, but not last night. I'm always used to my Steven check-in. Oh, jeez. What? I'm not being mean to Steven. Steven's got a life. I encourage Steven to live life to the fullest. Been thinking a lot about life since I, uh, you know, have a lot of time to think in general. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> we could have went for the pee jump there, but that was the only thing saving that. can't re-grab that at all. You have to just... That was smooth. Oh. No! I couldn't see! <laughs> Where was it? Oh, that was input lag right there. Ugh! Grabbed the P switch. There we go. Oh, okay. Now I'm just. Oh, it, was the, it was the input. I swear. See, I have to press run after I get past the P, and that's like a. Getting the up input is also not easy, but as you know, this controller is way better to deal with than the Switch Pro controller, which has super, super issues when it comes to... Holy crap. Oh, oh we missed a jump, and we missed this. Yeah, that was... That was... Yo! <laughs> LG Wing Gang! Brett's here! I knew... <laughs> That affirms J-Man shared the clip. <laughs> Brett, do you own a wing or do you just wish you owned a wing? I think you said you wish you unironically owned a wing. Don't be like me, Brett. Okay, trust me. Oh my god! Woo. Shit! I was right there! That was a good run right there. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. So at this point, that jump off the like one block with the spike next to it to jump onto the buzz saw, that one's tough. And then like the rest were just wild reads. Those were, that was just that was just good stuff right there. Um, that last jumps. <laughs> I was kind of like panicking because I couldn't like. I'm listening to the how much time left of the P switch has while I'm like going and I'm like, <sighs> like the time stress is real, which I know is on purpose. Damn it! I gotta stop talking when I get to that spot. <sighs> Just double jump. 
<laughs> Double jump. This is a no hacks run. If Merc were here, he'd complain that I was cheating. Oh, come on. Come on, I grabbed that block. I had a good. I skittered off the edge of it. Yeah, spin jump. Honest gaming? Yeah, what's I mean, is this truly honest gaming? Look at look at this version of Mario we're playing right now. <laughs> this is like an unholy Mario game right here. This is what Shigeru Miyamoto Shigeru Shiger Shigeru pronounce it right. Uh, oh no! Um this is what he intended when he made Mario. He said, someday, Valdio is going to create the most banging ROM hack called Quickie World. Using my assets. And I. Oh, jeez. I'm making dumb decisions. <laughs> Shiggy? Are you on a first name, nickname basis with him? Does your uncle work at Nintendo? Want to be out there? I've not heard back from Lego yet. The recruiter is on PTO until next week, though, so it's like I can't hate it too much. Um, I have another phone screen, and I have two interviews scheduled for Monday right now. So that's why today I did put in uh, for two more sales trainer jobs, um, and one of them pays really well um they one one of the applications asked uh what leadership books i've read and i was like oh my god i ran a book club about this at t-mobile that took a little too long i might not make this window oh my god oh almost we were almost gaming that should really be the name of this channel almost gaming <laughs> We've got a brand identity now. Boom. Oh. That jump scares me. That's that's the one. That one right there, officer. Anyway, I was really excited. There are four books oh. there that they like tell us which one of these you've read and understand the core concepts of and I actually had read two of them of the four so I thought that was pretty cool that uh I was like oh hey so if they give me an interview or want to learn more I can't wait to tell them like yeah I, I literally ran a book God, damn it. I literally ran a book club we read, we read leadership books every month and I'll I want to I'll give them like literally my whole curriculum and everything I did which is really cool because it's like you're hiring me for a sales trainer job. You have a big, you know, whoever handles the hiring process obviously cares about like reading leadership material. And like, I literally ran a book club for 12 months where we talked about all these books. And <laughs> you know, when you get to be my age, Ken's, you kind of want to take things in months, not years, because you want to make. You want to make it sound like there's a whole lot of living left to do. I'm I'm ancient. He's a young man. He's not a caveman. What would that make, Rosie? <laughs> Rosie's my parents' dog. Do you want a dog? Yeah. You can't have a dog. Because we have bunnies. Can I have a snake? You cannot have a snake. Why? Oh. You a hamster. No. No, I'm allergic to cats. 
allergic to dogs too. What happened to him? Oh well. Taco? J Man says we should get an axolotl. Don't you love? You almost tried to get a plushy axolotl today. Um, did you just say you need another axolotl plushie because you only have one already? Yep. Dad, it's called a sport model. Excuse me. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. That's the jump. I'm psyching myself out on it. I gotta just like cruise, you know? Like I'm literally thinking about that jump right now. I'm not even thinking about these jumps. I'm thinking about that jump with the spike. <sighs> that was a dumb thing to get stuck on. This is like the right level of difficulty for me, and it's not supposed to be hard for veteran Kaizo players. So, yeah, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Oh my god. Okay. I went too early. You know what I realized too? I mislabeled my stream. Definitely have Kaizo and ROM hack exclamation points on the stream. Let's fix that. Dang it. Can we do it? Okay, there. Boom. Hit that. Hit that. <laughs> my, my thumb was slippery from the condensation on the can. <laughs> I was like wiling out there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> boom. Hit that, hit that, hit that, boom. I don't even need to re-grab there. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? I don't think I need to re-grab there. The next time I get there, I won't re-grab. And we'll see see the progression. Oh. Shit. Mm. <laughs> Boing. That was dangerous. 
dangerously close. Did I really miss that? Did I really miss that? I don't have Purell up here anymore to wipe away the impurities of my terrible... Whoops. Whoops! Am I almost gaming? Here we go. Is what I meant to say right now. I feel like I'm getting those pushes in. I feel like I'm getting those button pushes in. That one was on me, 100%. foot on it. gonna want some advice on something and okay because you're not a senior sales trainer you went to college you got a degree in senior sales training well I hope you're moving to Texas because that's where all the jobs are for T-Mobile now was a little that was a little harsh <gasps> this is the run <gasps> I called it too I was like this is the run I don't even know if you picked up on it <sighs> so you have six exits See if we can get halfway through the hack right now. Oh. I like this cave. Is this the one with the bats? Oh no, this is different. What is this? I may have never played this level. Ken's? Yes. Okay, oh, is that for me? Yeah. Thank you, honey. No problem. I think that you need maggot. I don't need maggot. Why not? Are you being maggot phobic? What is it? you kids with your crazy terms? Maggot is the name of one of her squishmallows. Yeah, she literally has one that's a maggot. Oh no! Oh, okay, okay. okay. Maggot has a wife? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize they were monogamous. No, Maggot has a wife. Oh. But the wife has been cheating on him. Oh. She has? Mm -hmm. Where are you making up this narrative? Um, excuse me, this is oh. Okay. Okay, Zoomer. Did it? <laughs> oh my God. 
That was such a dumb move on my part. <laughs> oh, I get why the coin's there. You have to wait for the platform to drop slightly. That's a really cool maneuver there. Oh, dropped too fast. Or I dropped too slow. I think the worst part when you're playing a ROM hack is when, you, when you've seen the midway, you've tasted the midway, but you're not quite at the midway. Oh, oh! You're not quite at the midway. I will get that stretch when I'm at the midway. Okay, so we wait, and then jump. Oh, got it. Time for our daily bat crack. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's good. That's the good stuff. I got a new Mario shirt today, too. Check this out. I picked it out. Dad, give there me you credit. go. There you go. We got Waluigi. Give me credit. A Wario. Dad. My boy down here in the bottom. Give me credit. Walmart sells Super Mario shirts. Give me credit, Who knew? Dad, give me credit. Ken's wants credit for picking out the shirt. She found the large. Hmm, I do remember this. I do remember this. The Mike Wazowski Mario's face. Yeah, with the sticker. <laughs> yeah, no, I had to change my views back. Oh, look, I beat the game. sense to <laughs> okay up touch turn yeah that's easy oh I got a shell jump okay 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 up touch jump turn okay I see what they have me doing here okay okay touch turn Ooh. Oh my god, a reverse. Oh! Wah! We did it. Let's even get one more exit in. Before we continue later. Get an hour streaming in. This has obviously got a lot to do with charging checks. Holy crap, okay. Okay, let's do this. Get my gaming, gaming position on. Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen this level. Oops. Charge and chuck, you gotta hit him on the right side so you get the momentum right. Yeah, see, so like. Boom, like that. Oop. Mm. Definitely gotta figure out how to hardwire this controller after this. There we go. doing up there. Oh! That was the midway. We're already tasting the midway. I don't think that's the intended. You're supposed to just get him on the jump. Oh. 
I keep thinking he's gonna jump up, not over, and that's what's getting me. Oh, now that I can remember, if I can just remember that, I'll be okay. Oh no! I did a little scoot, a little scoot on that platform. It made me lose momentum. I needed. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yep. Oh. Oh man. Ah. That was good reads though. That was some good That was some good progress there. Ah. So the best thing to do, yeah. The longer you stay for me anyway, like the longer you stay in a section like that, the more like hectic it becomes. So like here, definitely want to just like shit. He juked me. Plunk. Hmm. Oh, got him before you even. Oh no. Blah, blah. Oh no. Get the wrong side of him. Okay, so here we just wanna. Okay, and then we wanna come up. Oh no! He stops. I didn't know if he would like keep going off the edge there. But now we have knowledge. Yeah. Boing. Jump. Oh, oopsie, oopsie doodle. I mean, you could kind of hear the jump noise right there. I don't know how I feel about, about that death. Stop. Or he won't. <laughs> if I stand a little further back, he probably will. I was probably too far forward. Some of these deaths are sus. <laughs> hey, Darth Haven. Yeah, it's kind of what happened. He was like, if I die, we both die. <laughs> it's the emphysema. Ooh, okay. Let's so have this. Just go here. See, you didn't stop that time. All right, I just got to go for it. I just got to go. What I got to do is just... Line it up for when he's going to be directly under and just jump down. Whether or not he keeps going, that's, I feel like, the spot. Oh, I saw that coming. That's the spot. Put it in quotes. The spot. And then it looks like we got a, a little jump under the charge and chuck action, and then that's probably the whole level. All right. Ooh. All right. What I also need to do is not hold left so the muncher can't get me. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I just need to breathe. Oof. I feel like I've hit every possible death. This level has to offer up to this point. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's too soon. And I still hit the muncher. Mm. This is gonna take some time. Precision gaming. Which is not what I'm known for, so.
Ah! I got, I got yeeted the other way. Dude, I looked at the clock and it said I had been streaming for 52 minutes. And I was like, yeah, let me just give it another couple. We're at an hour seven now. <laughs> like 15 minutes just like went by. Got it. Alright, so yeah, we just need to... No! Why? Ah. Uh. Hey, appreciate, yeah, that's a really good Discord channel. Uh, father before me, cool dude. Been a fan of his music for a really long time. Uh, so, yeah. This is Kaizo Mario. This is actually an easy ROM hack. This is what's considered on the spectrum of not difficult. Uh, this is called Quickie World, and the whole point of Quickie World is it's supposed to be a ROM hack that, like, Kaizo players play to warm up with. Like, they can beat, like, I think the world record on Quickie World is like 13 minutes. <laughs> People can just ridiculously melt this ROM hack in no time flat. And, uh, yeah, I'm still trying to beat it. So, different strokes, I suppose. I've watched a lot of ROM hacks, so I know the, I know the, like, the tricks of the trade, but. I'm not very good at them. Okay. Here we go. So when you jump, he jumps. And that's the whole trick. You gotta... I did it again. If I'm a little further away when I start that, it'll work. Be a little further away from the muncher to make the football man jump. Just Mario things. And I know he's called a charge and chuck. You don't gotta. Alright, so be a little further away here. We did it. That's eight exits. J Man's like, now, now you're tempted to look at the next one, aren't you? Now you're tempted to see what the next level looks like. It's another cave level. Ooh. Oh god, I I feel like I've I remember I remember this. I've played like god, I've seen so many ROM hacks like god, I've done so many at this point like I'm honest to god seeing this stuff for the first like not the first time. Oh, shit. Not the first time again. That or I've watched somebody play it like it all kind of blends together. You could switch to Zelda. No, I have to make some phone calls. I've got to do my expense report. I guess I don't really have to do my expense report. There's literally only one thing on it. And my boss will probably be like, why are you even submitting this with one thing on it? The problem is Enterprise will bill me for uh, like stuff. I just realized I should hit that as fast as I can. Um... Enterprise will bill me for my tolls b before giving me the receipts for those tolls. So, like, I have, like, five charges on my corporate card right now and only one receipt because <laughs> Enterprise is dragging butt. The first time, I just bloop right through there. And now I'm like, uh... Yeah, toward the end of the Jump of Era. Yeah, I have, um, I have a Jump for the Sale shirt. I bought it in New York City. I saw him live, and I actually have a pic. I gotta look at when that picture was, because I have a picture of me holding my ticket to that show, because I went to go see He Is Legend, and uh, they opened for them. And I was front row, jamming out all night, and he came up to me and he was like, "Hey man, like love the energy. Definitely appreciated that." And he handed me the demo of their album uh, right then and there, and uh, he was like, "Let me know what you think." Went to his merch table, bought a shirt, talked to him a little longer, and, you know, here we are. Oh my gosh, look who it is. Hello? <laughs> You're just in time. Oh my gosh. In time for? 
Uh, I was about to end the stream. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. You made it. You made it, and that's what matters. Spanish Scarlets already got the, the pogs in chat hearing you. Spanish green. Or Spanish. You're he's Spanish green. I forget. Oh wait, I'm. Sp <laughs> Aren't you Spanish, Spanish green? Scarlet. I'm Spanish green. <laughs> <laughs> you sp I'm trying to keep track of y'all. Um, but yeah, ever since then, I've, you know, I follow Jump for the Sales till the end, and then, uh, he, uh, you know, started Father Before Me, and, you know, started the Twitch thing, and started the Discord, so I just kind of was a natural, uh, natural thing for me to get involved with his Discord, because I've been a fan a long time, and I have a Discord, and here we are, and he's super cool, like, Yesterday he was like, yeah, share your link. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep doing that. <laughs> um, till he's like, buddy. Okay, chill out. <laughs> yeah, I still got it. So are you, you're not done with work yet, are you? No, but I'm, I'm popping in regardless. Are we going to hear some <laughs> customer service skills? Are you going to... Wow! I'm... Listen. Are you about to hear some? Oh, You'd be like, oh, hold on, you, I got a call. Do you, do you want me? <laughs> do you want me to say what I say when I have to leave a voicemail? <laughs> <laughs> Calls back. Hey, you're trying to get this interior scheduled. God, do you do you not want your insurance claim? <laughs> your homeowner's insurance policy ordered this. Okay, it's not my fault. It's not like we want to assess your damage or anything <laughs> we need to do a risk assessment all right this is the run this is the run we got p speed no ah! <laughs> i keep saying one more level and then it turns into one more level and then it turns into one more level i said let's get halfway I let's get halfway through the hack and I'm currently in the ninth out of the 14th level. <laughs> Jimmy, man, we're calling about your car's extended warranty. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the one that was like the boat? And it was like, this is your captain speaking. <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> and had the seagulls and the, and then like the island, the, the, like the marimba music started up and. Okay. Not for nothing, this one jump is like the hard jump. <laughs> I can I, I progress fine if I could get past this one jump. Bat jumps are annoying because you have to run forward enough to trigger the bat, and then you have to like time the jump. Okay, so I'm feeling like we keep peace. Um Am I going too fast? Why for you, you killing me with these daytime what? streams? I'm Can I just sorry. Say that? I'm sorry, but I do. Why are you doing this? I do want to beat Quickie World tonight, and I just wanted to warm up for when I finish it later today. And J Man's like, "Don't tell me there's no Breath of the Wild." What? You're killing me. What? But there's so now much. I'm, now I'm now I'm gonna have to just enjoy the stream without being a part of it with you. But that's How not true I because you? I do a nighttime stream too. I can't believe you're doing two streams a day. That's so, like... I have eight hours but, of free time to kiss suddenly every single day of my life. <laughs> I can only apply to so I many know. jobs. And I told myself that, like, you know, like, every day... You, like, there's only so much I can do. Like, there is such a thing as, like, job fatigue, you know? Like, looking for job oh, fatigue, so... Like, Absolutely. I've met my quota today for oh. jobs I've applied for. Um, I've started taking classes on LinkedIn Learning uh, for instructional design. I've took a class, a full course today on the Addy model, which is a huge proponent of how instructional design comes together. And I've yeah. used it. I've used it in my current job, oh. but I did like it's not in my job description as a senior sales trainer. So I decided to get that certification. What's cool. And I know I'm like doing corporate talk right now, but on LinkedIn, <laughs> when you uh, finish a job or you finish a like a course on LinkedIn, it will automatically add 
the pertaining skills for that class to your profile. So like if I do a like easy apply on LinkedIn, which I don't like to do because I don't feel like it's, you know, everybody can do an easy apply. Like I did a sales training job today out of Connecticut and it's it was posted within the last 24 hours and it had 141 applicants because it was LinkedIn easy apply because you can just like click three things and you've applied for the job. I don't like mm -hmm. that because like this is a job that's in my field. It's something that I can really get, provide a lot to, but the the poor recruiter has to filter through 141 other candidates to like see my information. And a pri probably a lot of it is like BS. Like people are like, oh, let me just let me just put my name in that hat. Just who knows, you know? Like a lot of people probably don't take it seriously. I applied for a job. I'm not even kidding. You ready for this? I bet I already said this on stream, so I'm sorry. You're the second person to find out. Um, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No! <laughs> ah, those were sick reads. All right. Um, oh my god, that was a good try. It's the first time I got there. Um, there was an application I put in today, and uh, they uh, one of the questions was, tell us how many of these leadership books you've read. And I actually had read two of them. Because <laughs> oh, wow. of when I ran book club. Like, they were book club books. And I was like, oh, this is cool. And then they, like, had a little, like... Tell us a you know like anything you want the recruiter to know. And in the bottom, I was like, you know, I read a ton, and I ran a book club at my job, and we actually read two of the books of two of the four books you mentioned. So it's I, I just said it's super, and I said it's super cool that you uh that reading is seems important like to whoever's hiring. Let them know I've got a whole library. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh um. Any any update at all for Lego? No, but you know what? The recruiter, I but as you know, the recruiter is on PTO. So to yes. me, I'm kind of like, if it if it waits till Monday, I'm kind of like, I get it, you know, like yeah, they should they should be enjoying their time. And today's off. Friday. Yeah. Yes. And I sent that set. I get it. Like two when you're applying for jobs, like minutes seem like weeks, because and, and you got to put yeah. it in perspective, like. I sent her my information yesterday morning. Like it's been a day. So that's <laughs> so that, I can't. That was like really, really recently. But right. what well, wife? I'm really sorry, but I have to go. But I just really wanted to stop in just for a couple minutes and say I'll watch the stream later. And I'm sorry that I couldn't be there, but I just wanted to come say hi. Hold on, hold on. Oh God, the inputs. We made it. All right, oh anyway, my. we were we were almost there. Oh, I saw. Ugh. But the okay. Anyway, go back to work. I will talk to you later. Later, Sounds Rena. Sounds good. Bye, you guys. Bye. A bye bye. A bye bye. A bye bye now. Bye 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 bye. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> bye, waifu. Bye. Oh. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Ken's, I don't know about that. So what we need to do, I'm worried about the timing. After that shell jump, that red shell jump, and then we fall down, I went too high. And I was like brushing the edge of that wall there. I definitely want to like hit it, get over that, and then like keep my P speed into that crevice. I bet that that's what I gotta do. And if I delay it all, it's gonna it's gonna smoosh me. This regrab is the worst. Okay, put him there. Put the poop on the sea maggot. No. Yeah. Because they have enough garbage that they're looking at right now. With you, me playing this game. You suck. <sighs> you think you could do better? Probably. Probably? Oh, yeah? Doesn't look that hard. Doesn't look that hard. 
Hmm. Okay, let's wait a little longer. Put her to the test. Yeah, here you go. Good. Why is it so old? And you're dead. Why does it, this? I don't know how to use that. It's ancient. How to use th this is ancient. Yeah. It's buttons. It looks just like the Joy-Con. No, but it's, age, it's ancient. I don't know how to use that. Delay the first switch. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But when I do that, it it screws up the timing on the second switch. You have to, like, really... The next time you die, you have to show your people maggot. What? You have to show the people maggot. All right, hold on. If I die? Yeah. Damn it. This is what she wants to show everybody. A little squishmallow. He's gonna there. watch you fail. Watch me fail? Mm -hmm. Kaizo is a lot of failure. I love how I'm handling job rejection by playing Kaizo games. It's like, let me compensate all this rejection that I'm getting with a lot more rejection. My daughter has eight. How many squishmallows? Um, like, count them. Fifty-two. Yeah. Okay, this is it. This is the run. No wait. Ah, fifty-six. She got 56 squishmallows. And when we were at Walmart today, she wanted more. You didn't jinx it. It's just uh, shell jumps. Well, that one in particular, it's like, how many attempts have I had at it? Three at this point? So it's like, eh, if I could get a couple more attempts at the timing, I'd be fine. But oh, yeah, this is good. Envious. Don't be. She can't even walk through her bedroom. Oh. Yes, I can. Barely. Well, yeah, Between your squishmallows and your laundry. Well, all my laundry is in the bathroom. For now. For now, yes. Do you have a load to do? I have a load to put away. Well, what are you waiting for? That was too late. See, what I want to do is just bloop right over that and keep the P speed going. Oops, I hit that way too early. Um, I could probably re grab it, but I can't full send it. Sorry, I want to see this notification. Oh God, okay. Got somebody messaging me on LinkedIn, but I saw their job title and I'm, I know what they're about to ask me. Again, this is the same conundrum where like, I have the word sales on my resume because I was a manager, a retail store manager, call center manager. I uh, haven't been a salesperson in 10 years and that's all a lot of, a lot of people see. It's just, hey, you want a cold call? Like, no thanks. Mario is Mario World is such a weird game in that you can't you can't uh, you can't jump on the last pixel of a platform. You'll just scoot right off of it, and that's what happened there. Like you gotta. Mario needs like his the front of his foot's got to be able to grip the edge there, or he just he he'll just bloop right off the right off the side. Damn, LinkedIn as good as Indeed or even better. So I made day one. So on Monday I created profiles on Monster, Career Builder, uh, LinkedIn, 
Oh no, sorry, my LinkedIn's been active for a long time. Indeed, monster career builder. Uh, and what I can tell you so far is LinkedIn has the best job postings. People reach out to me the most from Indeed, but the jobs have nothing to do with my job qualifications. People will just like sort geographically and just spam anybody that's in the area for a job. Okay. We have Proggers. That is Proggers. Proggers, everyone. That was some Proggers. It's, it's, you're bringing together the words Pog, which means you're excited, and progress. And, and some people say Poggers, you know, when they're that excited about a, a really good play. So you combine Poggers with progress, and you've got Proggers. So it's, this is simultaneously me being excited and me uh, get, getting a little further in the level. Yeah, LinkedIn, sorry, back to my, my point here. But LinkedIn is always, to me, the better jobs are there. Um, and your profile says a lot more about you. The other, I got real weird. The other job sites just kind of like, you upload your resume and that's it. And like I said, I've gotten... I've gotten more job offers from Indeed, but they are all not not jobs pertaining to my field at all. It's like a lot of cold calling, a lot of outdoor sales, a lot of like, you know, a lot of like, it's like temp work, pretty much. They, they like, if you're just looking for a gig, like, that happens to me a lot too, I noticed. I should probably like do like just a stutter pause after I hit that switch. Um, so yeah, LinkedIn overall though has better, better jobs and it's, they, you know, recruiters will link the jobs to the websites they're from and oh, why didn't I spin jump? Um, recruiters will link the site like directly to the site or you can easy apply right from LinkedIn. So it like preloads your LinkedIn profile, which is essentially like a website resume, um, right into a, a post that becomes your your application um like i said i don't like easy apply as much because there's you know it's hard to wade as a recruiter they're practically like just fish in a barrel they're just trying to find something uh for traction um but they you know you have to have the applicable skills in your profile for them to kind of consider you and i you know in these sales training jobs i have all of the prerequisites it's like silly how long the list is on my profile at this point and uh this bat jump has been the death of me like if this bat jump wasn't in this level we would be through this level at this point <laughs> invictus has a level like this so it's good we're getting this practice in Regrabs are the hardest for me. I said that in level one, and this is where it becomes incredibly apparent. See, that, that was a full send jump, but I only tapped it. Like, I gotta get better at regrab. I should probably, like, watch a video about regrab. See, like, that was no regrab whatsoever. It's like getting that perfect sweet spot. Okay, that did not go well. Um. Yeah, so re-grab. See, that was some re-grab. I need just a wee bit of re-grab on there. See, that was... Re-grab is a term referring to when you jump off of an object, Mario can have varying degrees of inertia, and you can control that inertia by re-grabbing the jump button after... After, you know, I wonder if I hit the bat high enough if I don't need any re-grab at all. 
if I can just like it is annoying because you know as a job seeker when you're getting an email like it means a lot to get an email especially I've put in 18 18 formal applications this week um, and when I see my email go off for my I have an email dedicated to just my resume it's the only way you can get that email and uh, Hold on. <laughs> um, when something comes through on it, I know it's job related. And when I check it and it's just like uncapped commission, you know, like unlimited earnings potential. I'm like, no, nah, here we go. You know, like they're just trying to like bait and switch me on a sales job. Probably a pyramid scheme. <laughs> I don't got time for this. I got kids, you know? All right, so what if I just, let's try something new. If I go up and then just doink it. I wonder if that if I can get consistency in that. So let's see, let's try it a couple times. Oh my God. And look at how much room I have. Oh my God. Okay. 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 Well, I think we figured it out. <laughs> we just gotta get, we just gotta figure out the, the movement there. That was it. That's easier than a re-grab. Ugh, okay. Oh man, that's so much easier. But look at all this room. Okay. Yeah, we can hit that more consistently now. What's cool too is I'm a part of LinkedIn Learning and I don't know if that's like a premium feature because I'm paying for premium right now. Well, I have a free trial of LinkedIn premium um, and it gives me a lot of insights. Like I can tell how many people have applied for a job. Like when I look at a job posting there was one job posting i was super jazzed about uh uh dame of games kind of let it let it slip it's at lego and uh at the time they had only 30 applicants and only 15 of them were local um and it was a locally sourced job so i knew that like the job pool was smaller for that position so i reached out to that recruiter right away and i was like hey you know like I would love to talk more about this job. It's right up my alley. It's a sounds like mostly a care training job, but I can I'm down to clown. Uh, oops. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at with that. And that job app, I'm just praying it goes somewhere because I've tried to get in. Lego has a headquarters in Connecticut, believe it or not. Like, hold on, hold on. Oh, too soon. Um, that coin is kind of deceiving. Oops. I can't believe that's that easy. Jeez. Okay, this one's tight. Ah, I lost piece speed. Okay. Um, so I reached out to the recruiter right away, and I was like, you know, I'd love the chance to just meet with somebody about this job. I've tried to get a job with Lego before which is also true. And uh, I was like, I put in an application and I always get rejected. I was like, I, I'm I'm trying something new. Uh, I'd love to just chat about the position, what the expectations are, the kind of stuff they're looking for to see if I'm a good match. Like I'd love for somebody to, to look at my resume. I don't know who that is. Here we go. Oh, midway. <laughs> We're halfway through the level. <laughs> Shit. What'd you say?
yeah. See, like, this jump is a small jump. It's not a re-grab, and it's not a full sentence. You just, like, tap jump, and that's what gets you in there. Dude, why am I not hitting this on the first try? That's a shell jump, by the way. <laughs> Another thing you need to kind of be good at when you're doing Mario. They'll throw those at you in Kaizo quite a bit. There we go. This controller, I think, is driving me nuts. Oh, come on. I'm hoping the second half of this level is easier than the first half. See what I did there? See what I did there? predicted what that platform was gonna do yeah. you have to hit send on this jump like right before the edge Jeez. There we go. oh no yeah yeah that was too much too much time wasted on the shell jump this is like the ideal shell jump distance too I'm really botching something simple What? Here we go. Did those just need to be taps? And that's what I'm doing. And I don't know why sometimes it's work. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I bounced off the wrong wall there. Like it, it's sometimes like yeeting me. Yeeting me. Is that a term, Ken's? What? See, like it, it sent to the left again, or to the right again. Yeet? Oh. Am I yeeting on the internet? No. Oh, that was a double, double jump. Yeah, this is, oh. this is toast. <sighs> it's sad that this part of the level is just hit the shell jump on the first try. So this, so just like, what? Hey, you got a bounce? No, that's okay. I'll be around later too. Um, and thanks for coming by. Thanks for the follow. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll go live tonight and finish this up. So you'll see me again. I'm hard to miss. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Show. <laughs> I think I'm hitting it. Okay, oh. if it's under me, it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. Oh. That was too early. It's like that sweet spot right when you drift in your drift in your lift. Oh, Jesus. Okay, you know what? Oh. Let's. No. Okay, never mind. We're not doing that. I also, well, yeah, I do speed as a factor here. That's it right there. Yeah. So I pretty much need to jump when this just like hits. Yeah. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> that was it. That was too early. That was too late. That was too late. Yeah, we were right there. We were right there. Now, we would have got it if I hit that. I, I, uh, I panicked a little. I panicked a wee bit. Oh, too late. Yeah, I'm going to hardwire this for later. 100%. I can feel it. Like... You, I don't know if I can explain it, but like I can oh. feel the input lag like hit once in a while and I'm like I'm just putting up with it right now, but yeah, it's oh. definitely like driving me bonkers. I just realized if I miss the shell jump, I could probably just run back and oh. hit this switch again and prevent the death. 
Sometimes it's on, like it, it'll get the jump right where I want it, and sometimes it's de like it'll delay like a millisecond. Yeah, see, like I can, I can like, boink, give myself like more time to get the. Oh my goodness! Here we go. Vindication! Alright, next level is called Yellow Dwarf. We're gonna save that. Let me hit a save state here. So. And we're gonna keep going. One later on, tonight. We're gonna finish Quickie World. Oh, let me update my exits. We're at 9 out of 14. So we have 5 exits to go. And we'll see everybody soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the follow again. Darth Haven 117 and J Man. You know where to find me. Hopefully, you can. Pop around later. You said you were busy, but we'll see. <laughs> later, everybody.